This is one of those cases that haunt you. It's about two missing women that disappeared at the same time. In 1982, my sister Amy Hurst and her husband Bill moved to Florida. When I was nine years old, my mother left and I always wondered why. All of a sudden, she stopped calling, and when she didn't call my mother on her birthday, we knew something was wrong. The other young woman that went missing was Wendy Huggy. She was 17 years old. Wendy's mother, Susan, was a Playboy bunny. My name is Angeline Chester, and I worked with her. She flew on Hugh Hefner's plane. She was a jet setter. So Wendy might have felt rejected by her mother, and they fought a lot. She said she wanted to go to Florida and stay with Grandma and Grandpa, and she knew that they could help her out. But she went to a party and disappeared from there. Two women missing for 30 years, where do you start? Now at that time, we had a serial killer in the area. His thing was to kidnap women, take them out on a boat, put them in the water alive, tied to a cement block, and let them drown and die. September 5th, 1982, what happened out here? A fisherman found a body floating in the Gulf of Mexico. This body was weighted down with one concrete block. Oh boy. You can see how far offshore she had drifted. It had no face, it was badly decomposed, and there was no way to identify it. Was this Amy? Was this Wendy? The body itself was wrapped um, in a homemade looking afghan. Then there was the afghan, it had very distinctive markings. This led us to another suspect, one that's still out there. I think we're about to find him. The cases are connected. We couldn't have solved one without the other, and we're not done yet. Someone thinks they got away with murder. No way. 